Hello again, people on the internet. Today I'll be showing you some of the real world examples of the cargo space capability of the Model Y. From construction equipment to dogs and tools, I cover all the real world situations I've run into over the past couple of weeks. Let's get started. First up, we have some dining room chairs I had to move for a friend. I easily could have fit some things in and around the chairs, but for this purpose, you can see four large dining room chairs work, and that the hatchback really helps for a situation like this. Obviously, no moving truck here, but the job got done. Here I am for reference, about six foot one, so pretty big chairs. Now you can watch me struggle with this dining room table. It is 48 inches in diameter, which I should have measured it up front, but I should have known it wouldn't have fit. Now we have some snow tires for one of my old vans. You can see that I tried to stack all three in the back and get the hatchback to close on it. It wasn't gonna work. I could have driven like this probably though. Next up, I tried to shove it in the back seat with the fourth tire, but you can see that's not gonna work either. And then finally, I had the idea I was gonna take out the cover for the rear cargo extra space, just to get the tires at the right angle. And you can see it is probably going to work. It worked. This car obviously also works great as a grocery getter to get all of your pandemic needs. Note, please stay home. Help our healthcare professionals out. Six foot ladders and sawhorses? That's like donut holes for the belly of the Model Y. What about a drill and a mini pony, also known as Great Dane? No problem for the Model Y. Let's up the ante a little bit. How about two mini ponies and more tools? Well, Model Y can handle this too. And the dogs seem to like it. Sorry, not dogs, tiny horses. Again, for reference, here's some photos of the dogs in the Model 3 before we got rid of it. It worked, but not ideal. Up next, we got some construction supplies from your local hardware store. You're not gonna fit a four by eight sheet of plywood, but three by five hardy backer, that'll work. Plus, you can throw some other things in there too. Before the Model 3 and the Model Y, there was this 98 Forerunner. It did most of the job, but looks like the Model Y might be taking over. The Model Y appears to be a car for normal humans, or should I say silly Americans with lots of stuff. One small annoyance, the rear seat design always sets off the passenger seat belt warning, regardless if there's tools or a tiny horse back there. Give it a little tap like that and you're good to go. Well, there you have it, real world scenarios for real world humans. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Model Y or other random content.